She met Patrick at a second wedding reception for Sammy and Aaron John, and, long, and a long-distance romance bloomed and blossomed via Skype and phone calls that has led up to this momentous celebration of the McKinley family uniting with the Paul family. We are all totally thrilled and supportive of this fabulous union. They had a wedding two weeks prior in the States and a reception over in India. Um, Patrick and I couldn't make it to the States, but we could both make it to India. So I flew from South Korea and Patrick flew from Singapore. Three weeks after they met in, Ch uh, in Chennai, I get a phone call from Patrick and uh, he was head over heels for this lady. I mean, we had a coffee date, kind of group date, and uh, I kind of saw during the group date that he was eyeing her. I didn't want to make anything, I didn't want to make any comments at that point. I just, but later on when I got this call, I knew exactly why he called me. <laughs> wow, and uh, love blossomed, dreams were about to come true, and a beautiful marriage of two cultures, two families, and two hearts was in the brewing. He texted me <laughs> shortly after we first met and said it was great meeting you um, and we just had a good back and forth texting conversation. He was really friendly and he was honest with me. I was direct and honest with him and um, we got a few of the big topics, the burning questions out of the way immediately. I know you're here. <laughs> wow, baby. Uh, because this has been a long distance relationship, we um, agreed to date, like start dating even over uh, while we were in different countries. So he was in Singapore and I was in Korea. And he said, I've been praying about finding a partner. Uh, I believe that the Lord has led us to meet and I've felt really good about the way this is going. Would you consider dating me? I said, I've been feeling the same way. I was wondering if you were going to ask. So we started dating over the distance. My wife Dorothy and I are blessed with two wonderful kids, Lena and Samuel. Lena, our oldest daughter, who is married to Isaac, is blessed with two wonderful boys, Braden and Brian. To those who might not know, they are the sole reason we are having the wedding in Louisville. And my wife and I are thankful to God that we have gathered as family far away from our homeland after so many years. Now, uh, this event, this ceremony, this wedding is very unique, wonderful, because two different cultures are coming together. Patrick will tie a necklace uh, around bride's neck. Now this necklace is called Mangala Sutra in uh, Indian language. Mangal means pure, Mangal means happy, Mangal means pleasant. It signifies about the commitment, about the love and that he is going to protect her. They secretly planned Yeah, to... Patrick wrote us and said, hey, I want to propose to Katie on this day in this garden. Um, can you guys just be prepared with your cameras? Um, yeah, it was really cute. We asked you guys to pose for a photo. 
and so we set all our bags and we got everything all prepped and ready and made it all pretty yeah and then from yep. for your perspective you were posing for a photo i was just and... posing for a photo underneath there's this beautiful bougainvillea tree in the botanic gardens in singapore which is actually where we shared our first date as well mm. I have something for you both, and this is from a very dear friend. This is friend Isaac, so he says, distance is just a word when we are intertwined at heart. This is how I've always felt about you. I'm sorry I couldn't make it for your wedding, and in that I'm gutted, because you're just not any friend but my best. Nevertheless, I couldn't be more happy for you because you're marrying the woman of your dreams. As I look back on our beautiful friendship, two things comes to mind first. First is God and second is time. In that, I would like to point how times can change but God remains constant. To that end, I pray you and Katie continue to have God as the center of your lives. Together we are a great team. You know, we always say that. Marriage is not going to be a bed of roses all the time, but Having chosen a wise and God-fearing woman like you, I'm confident that I will be able to comprehend through tough situations. With God at the center, let us walk through every season of life together. The highs, the highest of highs, and the lowest of lows, and every single moment in between. You are by far my greatest adventure, and together we are one. I love you. But as I look back and I see how our paths have gone, I don't see a tag along little sister, but instead a fiercely strong, courageous, and brave woman who all along has been living her own story. Katie, I'm so glad you went to Korea. And I'm so glad you stayed true to yourself, pursuing your dreams and really living. I'm so glad you went to Aaron and Sam's wedding in India and met the love of your life. Patrick, you may kiss. <laughs> <laughs>